Greetings, everyone. I warmly welcome all of you to the World Cancer Day Fundraising Closing Ceremony by the School of Medicine, Taylor's University. I am Kirsti Vigna Vishweshwaran, a, a year three medical student at Taylor's University, and I will be your MC for today. So, without further ado, I would like to invite Emeritus Professor Dr. P.T. Thomas, Executive Dean, Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences, to give the opening address for this event. Thank you, Kirti. Dr. Dr. Soundri Somasundram, President, National Cancer Society, Malaysia. Associate Professor, Dr. Ganesh Ramachandran, Head of School, School of Medicine, Taylor's University. Professor Dr. Lai Nai Ming, Director of the Clinical Campus School of Medicine. Mr. Richard Charles, Project Chair of Taylor's University Medical Society, staff of the School of Medicine, students and friends. I'm honored to have been invited to say a few words on this occasion, and I'm always happy to participate in events where students have played a significant role. At the top of our minds at this time, and at the top of everyone's mind around us, we hear and talk about the COVID-19 pandemic. It has affected every area of our lives and has created panic, confusion, suffering, and death. We look forward to the day and we hope it will come soon when most people have been vaccinated and we are free of this pandemic and can go back to some aspects of normal life as we know it, even if the infection is still endemic. However, sadly in the process, we have understandably often forgotten about other serious and deadly illnesses in our midst and cancer is one of them. In 2019, cancer resulted in the death of 16,000 persons in our country. If you compare that with COVID from January 2020 to today, COVID-19 has resulted in the deaths of about 6,000 persons. However, COVID-19 will go away someday, but cancer will continue to be a problem. While cancer is a non-communicable disease, I wonder as I'm thinking about what I am to say today, if the same amount of money that we have spent in developing COVID-19 vaccine and in purchasing vaccines was spent on research, education and prevention or reducing the risk of cancer, could we have saved more lives and could we continue to save more lives. So it is somewhat unique and admirable that in the midst of this pandemic, Taylor's University Medical Society has raised funds for the National Cancer Society of Malaysia, an organization under the leadership of Dr. Dr. Soundary, which champions the cause of cancer patients, promotes education and research and awareness about cancer. If someone were to ask me what type of graduates should the Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences under which the School of Medicine comes, what type of graduates should this faculty pr produce? My response would be we would like to have graduates who are competent and caring as healthcare providers. Whether our graduates are doctors, pharmacists, biomedical scientists, it is not enough if we are just competent or we as a university or as a school produce graduates who are competent. But we need to produce graduates who are competent and care. And the TU, the Taylor's University Medical Society you have shown that you have that element of care for the sick and suffering. 
I hope this is partly because of the role models that the staff, your lecturers have shown you in the way that they have raised funds, not once, more than once, and provided needed supplies for Hospital Sungai Bulo during this pandemic. So well done and congratulations to Rishan and your team. And Dato. Dr. Soundry, I'm sure this contribution, small as it is relative to the other donations that NCS receives, is taken as a token of our concern for cancer patients. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Dr. P.T. Thomas for your welcoming speech. Next up, we will have a short PowerPoint presentation on the history of the School of Medicine, Taylor's University.
Okay, um, thank you, Rishan, and all right, so um, to commemorate the World Cancer Awareness Day 2021, the School of Medicine had organized a webinar on the 27th of March 2021. So the school would like to thank Professor Dr. Rusli bin Nordin, our former head of School of Medicine, who initiated the webinar for this event and his working committee. So during this webinar, we had our own expert speakers like Professor Dr. Chong Pei Pei, the head of research of Faculty of Health and Medical Sciences, who spoke on the role of microbes in cancer, and Dr. Lu Cheng Yang, the senior lecturer from the School of Biosciences, who spoke on net on natural product-based drug discovery in cancer immunotherapy. We also had a few guest speakers who were doc Prof. Dr. Yu Ming Wang from Kaohsiung Changgung Memorial Hospital, Taiwan, who spoke on proton beam therapy. Associate Professor Dr. Ho Guo Fong from University Malaya Medical Center, who spoke on preventive measures in cancer, and Dr. Dr. Soundre Somasundram from the National Cancer Society, Malaysia. So to commemorate this day, the staff and students had initiated a fundraising activity for the National Cancer Society Malaysia. Now, I will pass the floor to Mr. Rishan Charles, Taylor's University Medical Society's project chair for the introduction on this fundraising project. Hi, uh, good evening, everyone. I'll just wait for the slides to load, yeah? Is it visible yet? Okay, uh, can you guys hear me? All right, I'll proceed then. Uh, good evening, everyone. So uh, I'm Mission Charles. Uh, I was the project chairman uh, for this uh, World Cancer Day 2021 charity fundraiser. And so now I'll be talking about the project flow. All right. All right. So this is a summary of uh, the project flow uh, throughout the entire project. All right. So it started out uh, on the 27th of March with the uh, Cancer Wednesday webinar, and uh, that was when we announced that uh, we were gonna organized uh, the uh, World Cancer Day 2021 charity fundraiser, All right? And then uh, we started working on it. And from March to April, we had uh, our team working on the posters and uh, we got a School of Medicine student to help uh, with designing the uh, shirt as well. And uh, in 16, on the 16th of April, uh, we launched the uh, World Cancer Day 2021 charity fundraiser. And we posted the posters on our social medias and uh, as well as the Google form links, we we're spreading it to uh, WhatsApp so everyone could uh, help donate. And uh, about a month later, uh, we closed the uh, windows for accepting donations and uh, we submitted uh, the designs and uh, we placed orders with the suppliers for uh, appreciation cards as well as the uh, t-shirts. So uh, for it, donors can donate as much as they want, but if you donate a minimum of 40 ringgit, you will get a free World Cancer Day t-shirt. I'll show you a picture later on in the slideshow, all right? And uh, in May, uh, we were supposed to receive the t-shirts uh, earlier on, but it was delayed uh, due to the MCO. But it wasn't a long wait because uh, by the 30th of May, we received, uh, we collected the uh, shirts and appreciation cards as well. And uh, by the 15th of June, it was out for delivery and uh, most of them have already received it. And today we're having the closing ceremony for the uh, World Cancer Day 21 charity fundraiser. All right, so uh, this is when we had the webinar, uh, the brochure and the uh, posters posted up by the uh, TUMS members. And uh, during the posters uh, and shirt designing period, uh, we came together as a team and uh, we were trying to 
uh, decide on what designs we wanted. We wanted something simple, but we also wanted to be interesting and something that matched the theme, right? So uh, we decided with uh, to go with the uh, theme for the World Cancer Day this year, that is I am, hashtag I am and I will. And now we came up with our own slogan, I am an advocate and I will make a change. And so as you can see the design of the shirt and the designs of the appreciation card. And uh, when the project was launched, we posted uh, posters on uh, Instagram and our Facebook pages and the TLS marketing team helped as well to promote this uh, project. These are the posters and uh, people were free to order and donate as much as they wanted, All right? And uh, the delivery of the shirts to donors, these are some of the people who received uh, or donated and received the shirt. Uh, we got them to, uh, we asked them to send us a picture so we can compile it. And that is it from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Rishan. Okay. All right. So now it is time for the main highlight of our event this evening. That will be the mock check presentation by Taylor's University Medical Society to the National Cancer Society in Malaysia. All right, so uh, Dato, uh, Dr. Sandri, uh, if you turn your camera on, we'd like to take a picture. Uh, well, we present the mock check to you, all right? So uh, we designed our own mock check because uh, we couldn't be there in person to pass it on to you. So I hope it's uh, good enough, all right? All right, uh, Ellen, I can proceed uh, with taking the picture. All right, all right. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Tosangri. If, uh, if there was no... Uh, EMC or anything, uh, we would have liked to uh, come to pass it to you in person and have a proper uh, ceremony, but uh, this is what we could do right now. Uh, thank you very much. Here's the back to you. All right. Thank you once again, Rishan. All right. So, um, okay. So now I would like to welcome Doc Dr. Dr. Soundri Somasundra, the president of National Cancer Society Malaysia, to give her speech. Thank you, Kirti. Um, good evening, everyone. Professor Dr. Thomas, um, Mr. Rishan, Dr. Ganesh, Dr. Lim, I hope I haven't left out anybody and all the students and everybody else who is on um, the Zoom call. I haven't actually prepared a speech, um, so I will be talking from my heart and I, I truly believe um, that's where this fundraising effort came from, from your heart. When I was asked to give this talk in, um, I think, early March, when Dr. Yong um, reached out to me to ask whether I could give this talk, I said, you know, no problem. And I didn't think much about it at the time. But I have to say, um, kudos to all the students um, who organized the World Cancer Day um, webinar, because it was, you know, it was enormously interesting. It was fun. Um, everyone was so interactive and, and engaged. And I loved, you know, having the ability to answer all the questions, et cetera, et cetera, that were asked. Um, it, was, it was a joy to be on that talk on that day. And um, to be honest, after that, again, I never thought much about it um, until Dashni came to me and said that, oh, actually, um, the students and staff have raised money for the National Cancer Society of Malaysia. And that was an absolute shock. Um, that you had done this for us. Um, it wasn't anything that we expected. And so we are truly grateful for it. Um, Professor Dr. Thomas, when you mention it's just a token, it's not. You know, we value um, and appreciate the amount of effort and time and thought that the students um, gave to making this happen. So every T-shirt that you did sell, you know, makes a difference because it's someone else who is more aware about cancer 
and who is willing to become an advocate and make a change. So it's just not about the money aspect of it, but it is about creating that awareness and, and creating that participation and that passion um, to help others. And I truly, truly appreciate that. And you know, kudos to, to Taylor's University for raising students and future doctors and clinical um, staff to have that in their heart and in, in the core of, of their being and in the core of, of um, who they will be when they start working. Um, I think that's so truly important. You know, since um, Dr. Thomas, you, you spoke about COVID and the impact of COVID and um, it's really donations like yours um, that help us through this COVID time because COVID has impacted uh, the National Cancer Society and a lot of other NGOs in terms of uh, money that is coming to us to, for us to continue our services. And I do remember um, last year when COVID hit us and um, you know, there was so much money being funneled to COVID we actually sat down and said, you know, will we be able to sustain our services moving forward? Um, but we've been very, very lucky in, in that sense to have supporters such as yourselves who have been, you know, given us that financial help to be able to sustain our services. And I'm really, really proud to say it's just not sustaining our services, um, but actually expanding our services. And it's quite funny, actually, because when I gave you the dates on when I could, when I could do this, um, I said, yes, it's no problem. You know, 9th of, 9th of July is not an issue whatsoever. Um, but at the beginning of this week, we actually started our mobile home-to-home -home COVID vaccination program. So we're actually going to house-to-house -house for those who are disabled, those who are unable to leave their homes to get vaccinations, and we're going to their houses and vaccinating them and their whole household. Um, and so we started it during the beginning, I mean, on Tuesday. And the first day we finished at six o'clock and I was telling Dashni, oh no, you know, Friday, I'm not sure whether or not I could come for this because I'm one of the doctors who are going out and giving the vaccinations. So Dashni said, no, you have to, it doesn't matter if you're doing it from the car, uh, but you have to be there. So, um, I'm not doing it from the car. We finished early today, <laughs> um, but it's it's because of of how you have supported us um, during these times that we're able to actually expand our services to do this um, for others as well. And that's a that's a true blessing um, for National Cancer Society and for me personally as well that I'm able to do this and I can only do this because of your assistance and your support. Um, I love that you said that I am an advocate and I will make a change. I hope that you all stay advocates and continue to make changes. You know, as you become doctors um, and you graduate and you start your work and you get focused into your work and all, just remember that any single small thing that you do does make an impact and it does change um, the lives of the people around you just as you have done today with this really heart, heartwarming um, ceremony and um, fundraising that you did for us. So thank you so much. I think that's it from me. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Soundri Somersundram. We hope to foster a working relationship with National Cancer Society Malaysia for all future projects. All right, so uh, last but not least, I now invite Associate Professor Ganesh Ramachandran, the Head of School of Medicine, Taylor's University, to give his closing remarks. Thank you very much. Um, Dato Dr. Soundri Somasundram, uh, Emeritus Professor Dr. P.T. Thomas, Professor Lai Nai Ming, and Professor Dr. Roland Sirasinghe. Um, all the other academic staff uh, uh, who have helmed this uh, project, Mr. Alentino Revan and members of the organizing committee for the Cancer Awareness Day. I would like to congratulate um, 
the Medical Student Society at Taylor's University for organizing this fundraising campaign for Cancer Awareness Day 2021. And apart from that, for also um, organizing a webinar to raise awareness of this important condition. In these days of the pandemic, uh, there is a greater need to shed light on non-communicable diseases uh, and cancer, as these patients may have a delayed access to care, as well as an increased risk uh, of infection and poorer outcomes if they fall ill. I'm also very proud that the students uh, undertook a project su such as this because increasingly, uh, I think apart from just uh, being doctors who dispense medicine, uh, the need of the day and what many people are looking at uh, in terms of medical curriculum and uh, how we educate our doctors is how we uh, put a few human face to medicine, empathy, compassion, and just being there to um, assist a patient through an illness uh, is a very important part of medicine. So I hope that the society and the students will continue to organize such activities as this. Uh, this will improve your abilities to be good doctors, I'm sure and also improve awareness for those who are less fortunate than us, as well as promote general wellness and good health. Thank you very much and congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Ganesh. All right, so uh, now we'll be taking all right, so we have reached the end of our event this evening. So before that, we will actually like to take a group photo. It will be great if everyone can actually turn on their videos. Thank you. Okay. All right, so um, any pose would be fine. Say cheese. Three, two, one. I think I'll take one more because some of them are still turning on the cameras. Yeah. Three, two, one. A chart, All right. And then one more. Three, two, one. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, Alan. Um, thank you, everyone, for your time and effort to be present this evening. Please take care and stay safe, everyone. See you. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations, students, for the hard work. Thank you, Datu Santari. No, thank you all. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dr. Santari.